Hey guys, it's almost been like Elite 3 Dragon here, and Merry Christmas to all of you guys out there. And for my two part Christmas special, I'm reviewing this set and the Riddler Chase Batman set. But this is the Man Bat Attack Batman set number set number 76011. It is 6 to 12, has 184 pieces, retails for about 20 US dollars. Here's a front look at your box. There is the back of your box. This set here includes just one instruction manual with 58 pages of building. Ah, really, who cares? Our first figure here is Batman, and I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this Batman before, so I'm not really going to get into much detail with him. Here's a minifigure you guys are probably a little bit more excited about, and that is Nightwing. The first remake of Nightwing since he came in that set quite a while ago. This time around he actually has red instead of the blue, which is kind of odd, but a really cool looking minifigure from the front right here. He does feature a double-sided face, and there he is from the back. Our final minifigure here and the main villain of this set is Man Bat, and this figure is eerily similar to the one that came in the Monster Fighters Vampire Castle set, but he is still a very cool looking character, great front torso printing, great face printing, I love the molds even if they aren't new, and he's holding two sticks of dynamite right there. Man Bat does feature a double sided face where he looks extremely hilarious and kind of helpless, so that's kind of funny. There he is from the back. Nightwing does get his own vehicle in this set, and if you guys saw my review of the Getaway Glider Lego movie set, I gotta say, this has the exact same problem that's just so bad. It does not support itself under its own weight. It cannot stand up under its own power. I'm having to use my own white Lego brick just to hold it up. Oh my gosh, Lego, how did you make the same mistake twice? Besides that, it's a great looking glider, really cool design, really unique vehicle. It has a sticker from the back right there, but gosh, that problem is just killing Lego sets here nowadays. Now here is the main part of the set, the back copy. This is actually the second incarnation of this particular vehicle. Back in 2007, there was a vehicle that came with that Scarecrow biplane set, which was actually, I think, a little bit better than this version, but this is still a cool set in its own right. The front here is pretty generic. They're using that cockpit piece they've used on quite a few of these LEGO Batman sets and just LEGO sets in general here nowadays. Flick fire missiles, not exactly the most exciting features in the world. These little things, not exactly the most exciting movable parts in the world, but you can open up the cockpit and fit Batman inside. Also on in the front of the vehicle, there's a searchlight that you can actually move up and down, which actually I think is a pretty cool feature. Moving towards the tail end of this vehicle, you can, of course the top blade here spins, which is pretty cool. And this back blade here spins. Also I love this piece used as the back fin, which is really cool. Interesting use of this piece to make the back piece right here. They use the same technique in that one Joker helicopter, so very interesting use. I don't think it's the best use because it kind of looks a little bit odd to me, but it's still a nice design. I give LEGO designer some credit there. Really, the main playability feature on this helicopter is this little thing right here, which you just basically can unwind, and it will lower a winch, which is fine. I'm not really a big fan of LEGO strings, but it works fine, but what do you winch up, Lego? They give you nothing to winch up. It's confusing as heck. Why is this feature here? I don't know. All right, guys, final brooch here on this Man Bat Attack set. For $20, it's a great value at 184 pieces. You get three really cool figures. I mean, Batman's not a great figure because he's not exclusive, but the other two are exclusive characters, which is really cool. The helicopter's a pretty nice design. The glider thing for Nightwing is all right, besides, of course, that one plot problem that I pointed out. But this set just, is, this set just does not wow me. There's nothing about this set that wows me. The playability here is extremely weak, in my opinion. And honestly, it's just something about this set just doesn't quite get me. But it's still pretty cool. I'm going to give it a 7.2 out of 10. So hope you guys enjoyed my review. Please go check out my review for the Riddler Chase set. And Merry Christmas to all of you guys. Please go like my Facebook page. Follow me on Twitter. And follow me on Instagram. There will be links to all the pages on the description. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.